Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spirituslight, and we're here for our daily prayer and reading. Of course, we meet every day at that Moore Sassor. We say a prayer, we read a psalm, and then we do a three-card reading just to see what messages we can get from the Most High and from the angels. So without further ado, all praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I Am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Enoch, Moses, Noah, and Solomon. We thank you for another day to labor in the vineyard. We ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will allow us to be of better service to you and to the kingdom. When we enter herein with all humility, let God the Almighty One enter into this place by the entrance of an eternal happiness, of a divine prosperity, of a perfect joy, of an abundant charity, and of an eternal salutation. Let all the demons fly from this place, especially those who are opposed unto this work, and let the angels of peace assist and protect this place, from which let discord and strife fly and depart. Magnify and extend upon us, O Lord, thy most holy name, and bless our conversation and our assembly. Sanctify, O Lord our God, our humble entry herein, Thou, the blessed and holy one of the eternal ages. Selah. To the Holy Mother, thank you for being with us. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for walking with us down the path of life. O Divine Mother, illumine me with divine wisdom. Vivify me with divine life and purify me with divine love. That in all I think and say and do, I may be more and more thy child. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahavashai, and the perfect example he set of how to both climb the tree of life and conquer the tree of death. And to the angels, to our personal guardian angels, to the archangels, to the council of nine, to the council of twelve, to the council of twenty-four, to the twenty-four elders, to the forty-two letter name of the Most High, to the seventy-two letter name of the Most High, to the council of 144,000, to the 216 angels that sit atop the tree of life, to the entire administration of angels, and to all the angels whose names we know and the ones whose names we do not know. We ask that you come, be with us for just a moment. Give us a message that will allow us to be of better service to the Most High and the Kingdom. All right, let's read Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according unto, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions. My sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part. Thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit then will i teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise, for thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem, then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall thou offer bullocks upon thine altar. Selah. All right, so we have our daytime deck here, of course. And, of course, this is a beginner deck. It's easy to use. It correlates directly with the rider weight. And if you go to the website, fruitsandspirit.com, and sign up for our email list. You can get 10% off of your physical orders and $5 off our upcoming courses. All right, so we have our cards here. 
All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We again ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get some messages that will allow us to be of better service to you and to the kingdom. To the Holy Mother, we thank you for everything that you've done for us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahawashai, and to the angels whom we've already called in. We ask that you give us a message that's clear, that's easy for us to understand, Ooh, that's easy for us to apply. And of course, when you fulfill the covenant with us, we will let the Most High know so that we are, um, so that you are able to ascend up as we also ascend. We thank you for all of your hard work and your diligence. And um, we are doing our best to become better and better clients. And I hope that that is um, being recognized in heaven. All right, so no cards fell out. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Ace of Stars, which is creation. We got the Six of Trees, which is receiving. And, ooh, we got Yahawashai. The Knight of Trees. Always makes me think of Yahawashai. And you guys know I'm excited because we are grounded in reality. Which so, <laughs> so often does not happen. Um, like yesterday and the day before and the day before and yeah we haven't been grounded in reality since like the 21st so um i'm very very excited to see this all right so we're going to start with that ace of stars which is creation a wave of creative energy surges forth to inspire heartfelt action that will ripple through every sector of your life. The Ace of Stars delights in a burst of raw creative energy that is making its way toward you. Stars illuminate success. Mm. You know what? That's why they don't want us to look up at the stars, because stars illuminate success. They light the way so you can make clear choices and original ideas forming and may already be calling you. It will arrive in the form of a new job, hobby, or your own business. You are ready for change. You have the experience you have the experience and skills to surge forward. Seize the opportunity this card is offering. Step into your power and believe your ability to create your own dreams. And, of course, this correlates with um, the Ace of Wands and Rider Waite, which is um, creation, start of an undertaking, birth, and adventure. My bad, y'all. I don't know where my brain is. So, as energy comes in okay so again as i've been saying since we started the fast for almost the entire month now and today um we start to feel that full energy of uranus in retrograde right so you really want to make sure that you are harvesting this energy wait let me see um let me look at my cosmic weather i think we still got good cosmic weather today let me see here we go. Yes, another week with everything in reverse. Yes, today the cosmic weather, uh, it gets kind of iffy after Rana, but um, most of the day for Zedek is pretty good. So just remember, you know, you, you want to go into this with a running start. So, and this card is really talking about Kokav, right? So, you want to, um, you really want to, hopefully yesterday you were able to 
um, start to create these things in your mind that you want to do. You know what I mean? Because like I've been saying, again, since the beginning of the fast, you have to have something. When you go to the kingdom, you don't want to go to the kingdom with, with nothing to offer. I mean, that would be kind of like the worst possible thing because after a whole you know, all these lifetimes and, and, and all these incarnation cycles, you get to the end and then you just like, yeah, like you supposed to let me in here. I mean, that's kind of rude. That's like going to a party and not even bringing a bottle or anything. And I know our people love to do that, but you need to bring something when you go to the kingdom. You don't want to go empty handed and we already read it. He don't, you know, he doesn't want your stuff. He wants your spirit, your soul, your heart, a broken heart. But you can be a, have a broken heart, but you can still come with some skills or something to repair it. You just don't want to come with nothing. You know what I mean? And hopefully everybody's been working on something. And don't discount any of your interests or your skills because well, what I'm finding out is that, you know, as you incarnate through your different cycles, you're, you're incarnating in the same field. Like, whatever your passions are, those are your passions from the last life cycle. These are not like things that magically just show up right now. That's not how that works. It just doesn't work like that. You carry stuff from cycle to cycle. So it's extremely important to nurture those things in which you're interested in and to not allow like doubt or whatever else to get into your mind. And it's to stop you from what it is that you're supposed to be doing. It's very important. All right, our next card is um, the Six of Trees. Oh, it's going this way. All right, so the Six of Trees is receiving, and this is our present position. If you continually give to others and don't allow yourself to receive, you will always be separate from whom you truly want to be. Open your heart to receive. The six of trees can be interpreted as not getting what you want from a situation. You may feel like you are giving too much and the balance is not falling in your favor. The giver and the receiver are different ends of the same stick. Allowing yourself to receive gives others the opportunity to give. It's okay to accept kindness, a gift, an offer of friendship or financial assistance. No sacrifice or justification is needed to bring a desired result. The more you give, the more you will receive. Refusing to receive creates an imbalance. Accept the love that is flowing to you now. And this correlates with the six of pentacles, which is philanthropy, philanthropy, kindness, charity, and material gain. So again, I think this is not just talking about financial uh, imbalance, but that's any imbalance. If you... So I also interpret this as give as much as you receive. So if you can't force someone, you can't force someone to give you what you're giving them. So what you may also want to consider is to cut back on what you're giving to someone because you want to you you want to just it's been sort of ingrained in us to like give everything, just leave everything on the table, give everything up and you know that's the Gentile way of uh, thinking so that they can, you know, use and abuse us. But we don't really have to do that. When you see somebody is not giving you, when you see someone is not, doesn't really have their heart in what you're doing or or their, their behavior with you, instead of giving so much and then being upset that, oh, they're not giving as much as me, just give less, you know, and... That way you're receiving in equal proportion to your giving. And that's really like against our um, our nature. Um, but when you're dealing with these Gentiles and these two-thirds, man, you got to only give what you're getting back. If you give more than what you get back, it's going to be a huge problem. It's going to be a huge problem. So you really want to literally give what you receive. You know, and you want to receive, you know, if someone is giving to you, you obviously want to receive. It's okay to receive more than what you give to the person. That's not a problem. But there is, there does become a problem when you're giving to someone and then they're not giving anything. So you always want to be giving on the same level as you're receiving. <clears throat> At least. And you can give more, again, but the whole point is a lot of us, especially women, are completely out of balance with that. 
So you want to get back into balance as best as you can. And the way you do that is to give what you receive. And if you receive nothing from somebody, don't give them nothing. And don't feel bad about it because they're two ends of the same stick. Each relationship is a stick. And if you guys can't meet in the middle with what you think is fair because we are generally fair people, it's best not to give nothing. You just hold just just go into a holding position and, and when you see them bring something to you, then you bring something. And when they not, then you hold back until you receive and you literally receiving what you're giving. You know, that's the only fair way to do it. All right, let's look at the Knight of Trees. Custodian, the wisdom, courage, and love that you seek is within you. Be still and allow this knowledge to inspire your actions. The Knight of Trees summons you to be still. Things can't always go to plan, but you can always find strength in peace if you would just stop and look for it. Your flair for the dramatic is keeping your, you from your dreams and desires. As you, um, you are the custodian of your future. Look after your dreams and your plans as you would nurture a child. Try to action everything into being will exhaust you and cause your dreams to be neglected. Be still, be strong for the visions in your care. Looking after a plan or another being brings you strength and focus. You can do this. And this correlates with the Knights of Pentacles, which is method, persistence, diligence, and devotion. And again, we're going into really bad um, cosmic weather. Um, and so uh, uh, basically Noga and Shabbatai are really bad, back to that cycle of really bad cosmic weather, Noga and Shabbatai. So, you know, it is going to be, you know, usually when that comes in again, that's a time when you want to harvest energy by making something, physically making something with your hands. And, um, you know, taking in all the knowledge that you have and, and physically putting it out there. That's that's really the best, um, you know, way to harvest energy. Um, and to harness energy, of course, is to read, research, study, and ground go out spend some time in nature that type of thing so um of course we'll eventually i'll do a video just on what to do to harness energy and what to do to harvest energy but um you know right now we're just still talking about it in this regard so you see how he's you know he's got that fire that he created in his hands he's got the fire on top he's at peace but he still has something that's created so that's that's what you want to really focus in on for that energy that's coming in that's going to be pretty bad energy or whatever. You know what I mean? So um, this seems pretty straightforward. I mean, I'm, I'm really glad to see us grounded in reality because we have been kind of floating around for like the last few days. But I think now that this Uranus in retrograde energy is here and, you know, fully everywhere, we're starting to see the effects of that. So um, I'll let you guys take a look at this while I write it down. Alright, well the blessing of the sephirate. The blessing of the sephirate is coming next. Hey. Alright. Blessed be the light beyond all being. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Keter. Blessed be the breathing of origination. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chokma. Blessed be eternal wisdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Bina. Blessed be omniscient understanding. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chesed. Blessed be perpetual compassion, forever blessed be the mighty one. Gavora, blessed be almighty justice, forever blessed be the mighty one. Tifrit, blessed be transcendent beauty, forever blessed be the mighty one. Netzat, blessed be unceasing victory, forever blessed be the mighty one. Blessed be surpassing glory, forever blessed be the mighty one. Yesod, blessed be infallible foundation, forever blessed be the mighty one. Malchut, blessed be all life throughout the kingdom, forever blessed be the mighty one. 
All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We thank you for allowing us to speak with the angels for just a few moments, and we would like to report back that they have fulfilled the covenant with us, and we would like that to be noted to their records. To the Holy Mother, thank you for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai. And of course, to the angels who were here, we thank you guys so much for being here. We have let the Most High know that you fulfilled the covenant, and we greatly appreciate everything you do in service to us. Let God be praised in the beginning and the end. Who supplicates him, he will neither despise nor refuse. God above us, God before us, God possessing all things. May the Father of heaven grant us a portion of mercy. Berushim Kevod Malchuto Loalam Vayed. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom throughout eternity. Ha Rashaman, Hu Yashazir, Lanu, Avodat, Biet, Ha Migdash, Limkoma, Bimhira, Biyamanu, Omen, 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 and Selah. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of his holy temple to its place speedily and in our days. Amen, 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 and Selah. To the spirits who are here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace and always remember, the Most High is your peace. Shalom, everyone. We'll see you for the reading tonight at Tessor.